Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to be a in your coursework. And today we're here with random access files. So, what is a random access file? Basically, they're files where you can just jump to any position in a file and start reading or writing from a position you jump to. So, let's give an example. So, let's say I want to read the XOXOXO line. To get there, I'd have to read the alphabet the alphabet backwards, the A line, the B line, and the C line before finally reading this line. That will take time and computational power. However, with a random access file, we can just jump straight to this line and read the line by telling the code what byte this line starts with. Each character is going to be one byte, and each new line is two bytes. So we can essentially type in a byte number and the pointer, what basically the thing reading the file, is going to jump straight to here if we tell it to and read this line, as opposed to having to read all these lines before it. It's really good for performance, but only works if the records are fixed in length, as you need to know when you can jump and not. So let's get right into how we're going to code it. So we've got our file path here and the delimiter. The delimiter is just going to allow us to split up each record we read, when we return it out of the method. And this is, and um, we're gonna have a string called dialog, and this string's just going to store all of the records that we read. And here's the actual code. So, read random access file, that's gonna be our method name. We're gonna pass in the file path, the line of the file which we wish to start reading from, and the last line that we wish to read from how many characters are on a line, or the length of our fixed records, and the delimiter, which we're going to use when we pass all the data out of the method. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we need to actually create the method. And this is the method. So uh, it's a public static string. It's called read random access file. We're going to pass in string file path, int line start, int line end, int characters per line and string delimiter. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, we need to actually create a file object and create a string for our data. So we're just going to create a simple file object. File, file equals new, file, file path, and we're passing in the file path here. Uh, I prefer to use a file object when doing random access files as opposed to just a file path. Now we need to create an array list. This array list is just going to read. It's just going to be where we temporarily store each line of dialog that we're reading. It's better than an array, as we don't need to know how many lines we're going to be reading. Yes, we could in theory use an array, as we kind of specify with the line start and line end how many lines we're going to read. But I can't be bothered doing that. I'd rather use an array list to shamelessly promote my array list tutorial series. There's an I up in the corner if you want to check them out. Now we need to do make create an integer called bytes per line. So, bytes per line is just Charles per line plus two. Why am I doing this? Because basically, every time we start a new line, there's going to be a an invisible slash and n. And that indicates to the code, oh, it's a new line. And those take up bytes. In fact, they take up two bytes because they're kind of two characters, slash and n. So we have to accommodate for that. And I'd rather have the code do it than the human input in the data to prevent some human error from occurring. So I added on to because each line will have an extra two characters to, to tell the, the file that it's a new line. Now what we want to do is we want to create a try catch. And the try catch in the exception E, we're simply going to put error occurred. This basically is just going to tell the user that an error occurred. Now we're going to have the reading of the lines. But before we do that, we need to actually create our random access file. Because I'm an idiot and forgot to. So we're going to do random access file. Random access file. That's going to be what we call the object, except we're going to make it a lowercase r because that's better. Equals new random access file. File read write, read and write. So this is a constructor method for the random access file object. We reference the class, we give a name to the object, we put new, reference the class, then we're going to pass in our file object that we created here, and then we're going to put in rw, so rw stands for read write. 
I'm going to do in a series of tutorials for random access files, so I'm setting this up ready for then, but you could just put an R if you only want to read from a file. But I'm putting write because we are going to be writing in the future. So that's creating a random access file object. This is going to be the object which is going to be jumping about the file to certain bytes, reading data and returning it. It's basically like um, the person who's searching through the yellow pages and knows that they can skip and let's say they're looking for someone beginning with D, they can skip A, B and C and jump straight to the D section. It's a bit like that. So here we have a for loop. So we're going to basically be looping through some code to basically read every line that the user specifies. So firstly we got for int i equals line start. So I'm going to set i to whatever the line start is. If it's 2, we're going to set i to 2. If it's 3, we'll set i to 3. Then I'm going to do i is less than line end. Basically, continue reading stuff while i is less than line end. So we're going to read up until the, the line, the last line the user specifies. And after we read a line, we're going to increment by 1 so we can read the next line. So what are we doing? We do random access file dot seek bytes per line, which is this multiplied by i. Let's say we have 10 bytes per line. To read the first line, we multiply it by 0 because we want to start from byte 0. To read the second line, we multiply it by 1 so we get to start on the 10th byte, which will be the new line. Let's say we want to jump to the second line. We times it by 2. So we get 10 times 2, which is 20, so we start on the 20th byte, and so on. So we're essentially going to be basically jump into whatever line we want to read, which, which is represented as i. Then we do data, which is our string here, equals random access file dot read line. Basically, we've read the whole line for that data. No, we've read the whole line and stored it in the data variable. Then we're going to add it to our array list with dialog lines reads dot add data. We have successfully read a random access file and jumped to certain positions. After that, we want to close the file to prevent any weird stuff from occurring. We need to convert the array list to a string so we can return it. So we want to do string return data equals something. This is going to be what we return when we end the variable. This code is essentially just converting our array list into a string. So we're going to be looping through the whole array list and we're going to basically add on the current element of the array list we are reading to return data. And then we're going to add on the delimiter to separate each individual record that we have, we have read from the file or each individual line that we've read to make it easier for you guys later down the line when you manipulate the data when it comes out of the method because we can't return an array list and I kind of forgot to um, make it return a string array because I'm a bit lazy. But this works too. Then what we want to do is, if there was actually no data found, for some particular reason like an error occurred, we're just gonna make it say subscribe to Max Diddly. So we're promoting my channel for the greater good because I need to overtake PewDiePie now. You know, PewDiePie's been up there for a long time. I need to overtake him. I'm joking. I'd never ever betray my Lord and Savior PewDiePie. We'll, we'll, we'll change that to PewDiePie guys. So I'm officially doing my part. See, I'm doing my part again, guys. And after that, we need to return data. And that is it. So if we click, if we click play, it's going ah and bah. So let's explain what's going on here. We have asked, okay, can you read lines two to line four? So we picked on line two. By the way, when it's doing the lines, this is line zero. This is line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, and line six. It, it, it does the incrementation like an array. So line two means start here and stop at line four. So we're gonna read this one. This is line two. We read this one, this is line three. This is line four, so we don't read it. That's what it's basically doing. So let's put in zero and two. This should read the top two lines. As you can see, it's read the alphabet forwards and backwards, like here. 
The alphabet here is forwards, then it goes backwards. It successfully read those two lines. But be sure to subscribe as I will be posting more random access file tutorials, like writing a record, editing a record, deleting a record, a login system. Basically, I'll be doing what I've done for sequential file access, but with random file access, as both have their pros and cons, and having both available in your arsenal is really handy. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, leave a comment with a request or a suggestion or if you've got a problem, I or someone else will happily give you a hand, and uh, thanks for being a great audience, and I'll see you next time.